back at it like a crack addict. All right. <laughs> We're back with some more Up Church. Up Church. And in this episode of Let's Go to Church, episode two, we're going to get into Dirty South. And um, yeah, it's a very popular request, like a very popular request by a lot of you guys. So um, I definitely wanted to check this out and see what all the hype it was about, obviously, and um, go from there. You know, uh, I, I, I always say it's a, it's, a, it's a wild journey. It's a wild journey. Every single time I do these videos, I'm just like, damn, man, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. And the fact of the matter that it's, that it's a music video. Woo! That's all I got to say. Woo! Yeah, man, Ric Flair, man, had to... Rick flare it up for one for the one time. But anyways, if you how I see that red button and it's still red, you should probably like make that red button gray because you know this channel, it's expanding and we know we are we are building a nice a nice a nice a nice a nice community. And um, I do appreciate every last one of you guys for that. I also appreciate you guys' comments and stuff too. Comment anything in the comments down below. So I like anything like that. I, I honestly will respond <laughs> um, with a heart. Or a, a you know a message as well, or both, or just a heart like and a message. Who knows? You might get the trifecta. So let's make it happen. Follow me on Twitter. We're trying to revive my Twitter. If you guys don't know my Twitter link is in the description. Um, if you guys didn't know, uh, but yeah, I just had to shamelessly plug all my socials in there real quick. Where anywhere anything else? Oh yeah, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. My post somewhat almost all the time. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and get in this this uh, track and see what we got going on. Damn, hurry up. Did I just see Cheatham County on here? Hold on. I was just talking about this in my last video. Tennessee, man. I was motherfucking right, bruh. And then the funny thing is, I feel like it said Tennessee, Cheatham uh, County, Tennessee, literally like in the last video I, I just reacted to, and I was being a goober. I didn't even catch it. My bad, guys. <laughs> Damn, hurry up. We ain't got all day. What did they find? Oh, it's monetized, monetized. Oh, shit. In association with Reg. What, 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 what? Hey. Did you hear Damn, that? look at that Ford, bro. Hold up, hold up. Let's appreciate the 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 OGness of this car. Like, let's appreciate the age of this damn car. This is this is wild. I've never seen a car this old. Like, what? <laughs> That's crazy. Did you hear that? It must go for a lot. Dang, they out here kidnapping people like that. That's tough, man. Oh, shit. The corner store smells like palm oils. The cashier wears the same overalls. Damn, see I told you I didn't know what I was getting myself into, yo. I did not know, but as you can see, there's some craziness going on in this video, man. Woo, we gotta get in to see what happens, man. The cops washed the blood off their hands with the moonshine. They took from the moonlight. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, I was not expecting that. Like, <laughs> it kind of had, uh, what was the, the name of the song? Communication. Bruh, like, what's the name of that fucking song? It's like a, it's like a alternative, maybe like grungy kind of song. I want to say communication. 
Huh, fuck. I, I gotta remember what the name of that song is, man. But he kind of reminded me with of that in the opening of this video. And I'm like, oh, dang. Like, maybe he's doing a cover. But nah, dude, this is this is his own thing. This is tough. Cars burn into the dark sky. No leads. Nobody oh, shit. knows why. These guys are on the hunt. They're looking for. They're looking for something. These guys are looking for something. Goddamn. Oh shit! Oh, those are the sheriffs. That's that's what that makes sense. It's just kind of weird, man. I see some cops with their like their shirts untucked, and I'm like, what is you doing, dog? Like. Tuck your shirt in, G. <laughs> you don't look right with your shirt untucked. I mean, obviously, you can't tuck in a bulletproof vest, but I don't know. I just It's just different seeing cops without their shirts tucked in. I know that's like a weird topic, but I don't know. I'm used to seeing cops like super like, you know, like, I don't know. Like, I think it's more professional to have your shirt tucked in. Maybe that's just me speaking from like a military perspective, but uh, I don't know. I just, it looks just more official. I'll, in, a, in my like more professional, I should say, looks a lot more professional. Lead to the small trails, headstones from the 1800s. Ooh. Go slide till you feel the chill in your spine. In these pines. <laughs> bro, did you see how high this man jumped to hit them symbols, bro? Hold up. Look at how high this man jumped. Hold on. Bro, this man has hops, yo. This man has hops, bro. Look at how, yo, I can't jump that damn high. I, I should be able to, but, bro, this dude leaped into next year and like to hit some symbols, man. That's dedication. Shout out to this man, man. Shout out to this man. And he, he jumped up from his chair, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> God damn. I gotta replay that. Right here, right here, right. Oh shit! Oh! Damn. And at least looked like he jumped. Maybe he just stood up really quick, but it looked like he jumped, man. Damn. This looks like Dirty Harry, man. Like y'all, y'all remember Dirty Harry? Y'all didn't know I knew about that, huh? Yeah, I'm young, but I ain't that young. <laughs> I am that young, but my grandmother was fortunate enough to let me watch, you know, some of the Dirty Harry movies. So, yeah. Just Dirty Harry, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Damn. Dirty sound, you have raised me. Wow. Dirty sound. Dixie made me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Stop resisting. <laughs> That's crazy, man. They went a ham on this dude. Dirty South, I love you, but sometimes you hate me. Times you hate me. Dirty what was in the box? I feel like that movie Brad Pitt was in. What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, shit. Damn. Okay, it's definitely panned at this car quite a bit of times, and I definitely can conclude this car's got to be worth a lot of money. It's got to be worth a lot of money. I've seen it like in like maybe 10 different shots. And every time it fascinates me. So we're going to go ahead and roll with the fact that this is an expensive vehicle that obviously cannot be found anymore. You know, the one thing that I do appreciate about older vehicles that the newer vehicles are shit about, you know, um, the fact that the older vehicles are steel. If you get into an accident with an older vehicle, consider your new car powder. Powder. Yes, I said it powder because the older cars unanimously are made of steel and uh i miss those days because now we have this bitch ass plastic <laughs> that's on our cars and this 
carbon fiber or whatever. And uh, it, it sucks because, you know, you're driving, you fucking so much as like, you know, accidentally bump into a light post, you know, an accident and like your whole bumper is dangling. But back in the day, you accidentally bump into a light post, you know, your car's like, shit, tough it out. Let's keep going. Nothing happens. Not a, stra- a scratch. My friend has an old like 1960 like, uh, what is it, Chevrolet? Is it a Chevrolet? I want to say it's a Chevy. It's like a Chevy truck, um, if I'm not mistaken. Got into an accident, and guess who received a shit ton of damage to their vehicle? Not his. I'm not also bragging about who can get hurt the least. Well, I am kind of, sort of, but not in that way. Like, I, I don't want anybody getting hurt. But, you know, I'll, I'll just say that uh, there is a special appreciation for older vehicles. I do see that. I, I, initially, I wasn't really a big car person, but... Like I said, I might be turning a new leaf soon. <laughs> oh, 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 dirty south, dirty south, dirty south. Shit. Oh, what? I wonder if he knows the dude that got arrested in this video. Huh, interesting. Oh, it's a ransom thing. Isn't it? Looks like a ransom type deal. shit they fucked this man up man what's what's going on yo well, i guess they're not friends or maybe they are oh oh shit he's about to blow his fucking brains out oh shit him dirty that's tough that's tough i wonder why let me go back and check real quick so they were talking about dirty south oh it's because this goofball fucking took i think that was his it looked like probably his sister like you know to fucking tried to kidnap his sister or something he's like oh it's like that i got something for that ass <laughs> i'm over here talking about oh that's his friend nah buddy just kidnapped his old his, his sister i think Fuck that. Anyways, um, that was definitely dope. What's going on, guys? Oh I'm my God, a commercial! Man. Jesus Christ, Christ! All that to say, that was an interesting watch, and I'm definitely looking forward to more content from Up Church. So go ahead and drop those suggestions in the motherfucking comments down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.